Hi and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today we have something a bit different to celebrate Halloween. So we are going to talk about the Kelpies. So the Kelpies are now a huge tourist attraction. These Kelpies are the biggest horse sculptures in the whole world and they are a symbol of Scottish industry and economy. And they're in the borders near, near Falkirk, between Falkirk and Grangemouth. Behind that innocent facade <laughs> is a lot of mystery and magic and scary stories from Scotland, from the land of legends and ghosts and monsters and mystery and magic and witches. So today for Halloween, we are going to celebrate one of our mystical legends and that is the Kelpies. So the mythical Scottish Kelpies are dangerous water horses found lurking near deep lochs or fast rivers. They can shapeshift into human form if desired. And they have the strength of 10 regular horses. And when their tail hits the waters, it sounds like a clap of thunder. The important thing to remember when it comes to Scottish Kelpie legends, never climb on their backs. Once there, riders find themselves stuck fast and unable to get off. That's the Kelpie's sign to gallop into the depth of the water and drown their victims before devouring them. Sometimes the only thing left would be a kidney or a liver washed up on the banks. They do have one weakness though. If you can control a Kelpie's bridle, then you can control the beast. It's a risky manoeuvre but there are rare occasions when somebody has succeeded and the proud creature is forced to work for their temporary master. Trust me though, if you spot one of them, you best just run for your life. We're now going to talk about a legend of Scottish Kelpies. In Sutherland, parents warned their little ones that a dangerous Kelpie hunted children down by the loch. Under no circumstances were they allowed to play near the water. But that wasn't going to stop them. They wanted to see this ferocious beast for themselves. One Sunday, a group of eight children skipped church and sneaked down to the side of the loch. As they were playing in the shallows, a gentle paddling sound came from behind them. They slowly turned, terrified but excited to see what they would find. It wasn't a monster at all, just a, a majestic stallion and relief filled the air. Suddenly, the horse kneeled down beside them and seemed to beckon them to climb on. One by one, the children hopped aboard and before long there were seven on the huge horse's back. Its back seemed to get longer each time to accommodate more and more. Only Dougal was left, whose mother had terrified him with lots of Scottish Kelpie legends. However, there was something strangely inviting about the animal and he just couldn't seem to resist it as he edged closer. Dougal reached out and touched the horse's coat with just one finger and immediately felt something strange surge through his whole body. With the last of his willpower, Dougal pulled out a little knife and chopped off his own finger. The Kelpie roared in rage and reared up with the other children on its back and galloped into the water. Soon it had disappeared 
below the surface, along with Dougal's finger and all of his friends. Powerful Kelpies. Do you want another story? The Mythical Kelpie of the River Conan. One day, some men were working in a field next to the River Conan when they heard a mysterious voice at midday. The hour has come, but not the man. Shocked by the interruption, they turned to see a terrifying Scottish Kelpie. It looked like a black stallion standing in the shallow ford of the River Conan. Suddenly the Kelpie plunged into deep water and disappeared. The locals all agreed nobody was going to cross that river for at least an hour. Soon a galloping noise came from behind and they thought that the beast had returned. Thankfully, it was just a stranger riding as fast as he could towards the river crossing. The men all ran to warn him of the Kelpie's words, but he wouldn't listen. If the locals hadn't dragged him from his horse, the stranger would have plunged straight into the River Conan. To keep the man safe, he was locked in a nearby church. Ignoring his shouts of rage, the locals went back to the field and carried on with their work. Once the hour was over, the river should have been safe from Kelpies again, so the stranger could finally be released. The church had gone deadly silent by now, and the men hoped that the traveller had just given up trying. As they unlocked the door, there wasn't the slightest noise. Peering inside, they found the body of the man face down in a low trough of water. Nobody knew how or why, but that determined Scottish Kelpie had managed to claim its victim. The Kelpies, all oh, the Kelpies. One more, should we do one more? Go on then, one more story. The Kelpie of Loch Gar. A builder opened his door one day to find a beautiful black horse grazing near his cottage. No saddle, no owner to be seen. It was his lucky day. Jumping on its back, he soon realised his mistake. This was none other than the Kelpie of Loch Garve. Immediately, it galloped away and plunged into the water with the builder screaming for help. His lungs were on fire from holding his breath and eventually he gave up and took a deep breath. Somehow, he could still breathe. The booming voice of the Kelf Kelpie of Loch Garve shook his bones, telling him not to be afraid. He had brought here to help with a very specific problem. The Kelpie's wife wasn't enjoying life at the bottom of Loch Garve. She wasn't a water horse herself so wasn't immune to the cold and really didn't enjoy eating raw fish. What they needed was a roaring fire and so the Kelpie had found the best builder in the Highlands. They asked him to construct a large fireplace with an enormous chimney that reached just below the surface of the loch. It wasn't as if the builder could refuse, and with the strength of the Kelpie, the chimney was finished in no time. With the fire roaring in the hearth, the Kelpie's wife was happy again. The Kelpie of Loch Garve brought the builder back to the surface and promised that any time he wanted fresh fish, all he had to do was leave an empty basket by the loch. It's said that the Kelpie keeps the fire going to this very day. 
when the surrounding area is covered in thick ice and snow, there's always one spot on Loch Garve that never freezes over, directly above the Kelpie's chimney. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed these stories as much as I enjoyed reading them. And be careful if you come to Scotland and you're near the water or the sea, a loch or the river, and the water horses come to tempt you with their magic. Happy Halloween, everybody, and keep tuning into the light, especially today. Thank you.